Inheritance tax is a key consideration for many of our clients. Our starting point is to make sure you as the client and your spouse are protected in all scenarios throughout the rest of your life. We need to understand what income you have now and what your expenditure is. Future spending, future capital spending, gifts that you may have committed to. For clients this is often things like private school fees, helping people onto property ladders. So it's key that we look at all of that and make sure that you're looked after for the rest of your life before we do any inheritance tax planning. To demonstrate to you what capital you do need, we would use something called cash flow modelling. This allows us to demonstrate to you the impact of various things like inflation, investment returns and some of those gifts that you may have already committed to around property purchases, weddings, school fees. Once we understand what you need, then we can start looking at what's available for inheritance tax planning. As part of the cash flow modelling, we'd also want to look at the worst case scenario for you. That potentially could be what your aspirations are for long term care, whether that's care at home, care in a residential home, or whether you'd like to pay for private medical treatment in the future. In addition to this, if one of your income streams would cease on first death, we need to ensure that the surviving spouse is also looked after. And these are key things that we would demonstrate to you through the use of cash flow modelling. We would look to work with you and your family on the inheritance tax planning and use the cash flow modelling to build a plan for you. Some of those may be quick solutions that you can proceed with immediately and others may take longer to consider and we work with you at a pace that suits you and your family. Following an initial meeting, we'll write to you with a summary of our meeting and as part of that summary, we'll enclose some questions for you and your family to consider. Some of those things that need further thought are around how much cash you feel comfortable keeping and what you would like as a rainy day cash reserve. Who you might like to be the beneficiary of some of these gifts that we've talked about, what you might want these funds to be used for, at what age would you potentially want someone to benefit from these gifts, how you feel about taking risk and how you would feel about potentially ensuring any of the inheritance tax liability that you haven't gifted away or mitigated through other solutions.